don't think this is going to be a long review because, to be fair, it's the dinkiest little bottle. So it's Smirnoff number 21. Um, vodka. I'll get, a, I'll get a glass. A little glass. I need a shot glass for this, don't I? Something small. No, I might as well just neck the flipping bottle and be done with. Um, <laughs> good evening. Double vodka and Pepsi. Oh, can't fault you. I wish I'd have got bought some Pepsi down the shed for this, to be fair, because um, Smirnoff. It is, isn't it? Look at that. It's massive. Massive bottle. <laughs> okay, now. <clears throat> yeah, it won't be a long review, this one. Because uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, there's no way I can spend 15 minutes reviewing that. Vodka and prune wine. I might do that. I, might, I, I will give it a taste and we'll, we'll, we'll. <laughs> it's all I can afford. I'm a, I'm a pauper wages. Kent was doing a beer review tonight, alive. Ah, lovely. So, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. It's, it's a dinky bottle. Uh, crystal clear, triple distilled vodka. Number 21. Yeah, it is a small one, isn't it? Yeah, Grey Goose. Grey Goose is okay. Yeah. I've just clicked on Craig's and it's not showing that he's live. Yeah. Window Beers is live as well. God, there's so many lives tonight. Free local delivery. Oh, I'll have to check them out. Um, yeah, it is. Oh, shit, spilt some. Fuck you now. Don't want to do that, do you? Just open a large can. Never again. <laughs> well, what do you get? All you get for me is pure alcohol. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, let's be fair. If anybody uses has, has got a distill, an air still, um, or anything. Interviewing you next month. Good evening, Ant. How are you? Ah, that'd be an interesting um, interview. Clueless drinker, I like him, he's a good lad. On about mental health the other day and uh, it was good for him to speak up about it. Yeah. You know, it is, it is, uh, stuff can be tough, can't it, you know. Good evening, Chris, how are you? Pure alcohol, yeah, 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 I bet it would. <laughs> Your face when it went, oh, oh. I looked at your face and I, I, I knew, I thought, oh dear, it just, I just, it took me down memory lane as I looked at you. So yeah, this is, let me remember, remind myself how strong it is. Yeah, it's 37 and a half percent. So yeah, been years since I've touched Smirnoff. It's only really just to get the review in. It's at room temp, mate. Yeah, it's not, not ice cold. Although it's chilly in here, to be fair, but not, it's not ice cold, no. So. I'll drink half of it and then we'll mix a bit of prune wine and a bit of vodka. So yeah, all it is is just pure alcohol. Bison, bison uh, vodka's okay. Grey Goose for me, a little bit overrated. Very pricey for what it is. Uh, on a personal thing, I think Ciroc, if you want a, a, a premier vodka, Ciroc is probably better than Grey Goose. I don't care, it's a challenge. It's a, it's Raggy's Friday challenge, <laughs> but not.
yeah. This I find, you know, really heats the throat up. Um, oh. Obviously, you, you, for me, you just get the alcohol content. And if there's anything I've learned since I've done beer reviews is that taste is key. You know, drinking plain stuff just isn't interesting. Yeah, I've had their Grey Goose, their version of Grey Goose, their copy version. And it's all right. For 15 quid, it's a damn sight cheaper than uh, Grey Goose. Yeah, their version. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how many clones there are these days. But then again, let's be fair, if a clone's done right... I'll just do this review then. I won't mix it. I'll be a good boy. <clears throat> I'm looking at Kent Bear's uh, page at the moment and uh, there's a young, young Harry on there. Even, I don't know who the bloke in the middle is, but uh, yeah, Harry looks a bit young. So, ain't going to be a long review this one because what can you say about it? It is what it is. You know, and this is it with sometimes, you know, when it's neat. Uh, I did a gin advent calendar the other year. And, you know, some of the gins were so harsh. There was a Christmas gin and it had frankincense and myrrh in it. And I don't kid. And, uh, oh, Jesus, was it rough. It was really, really rough. It wasn't my cup of tea in the slightest. What, the middle one's Jake? Jake O'Bear? I didn't think it was Jake in the middle. Yeah, it wasn't the nicest. Oh dear. And I've got to be honest, a lot of them full strength gins, the alcohol content just killed any flavour. Very similar to what you what you experienced with the um, Brewmeister Snake Venom, where the alcohol uh, kind of killed the flavour. Right, Harry look, Jake looks really different on that. Wow, didn't recognise him. Let me just go back. Yeah, it's the glasses, isn't it? Yeah, 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 the shades, yeah. Yeah. Ginger real ale, yeah, 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 I can see him, yeah, yeah. That was some years ago, wasn't it? It's nice to have a computer now, because a working computer that actually works at speed, because I can see what's going off on, on, on other people's channels, even when I'm watching my own. It's great for nosying. Oh. oh, fucking hell. How the hell did I drink that 67%? No, I've, not, I've never met Opsy, and then again, I've never met anybody, <laughs> to be honest. The only person I've ever met from, from, from beer reviews in, in any way, shape or form is Liam Rusko as he's driving by Callum, waving out the window, shouting ragged. Oh, Tad. I've met Tad, obviously, and I've met Mr. Goated. Apart from that, no one. Not yet, anyway. So, to kill this off, because, to be fair, there's not much to say. You've got a lager beer fridge coming. Bless you. No, we haven't, no. No, you'll have to post that on the, um, um, like a par parody of him. Yeah, you'll have to post that in the beer community, if, you, if you're in the beer community. Good evening, Tad. I was just saying, um, the people I've actually met from, from the beer community. So, 
I get home tonight and the wife says to me, she rings me at work and says, uh, we've, what we've got, we've got an edible printer. So it's a printer that you, you can print onto um, like sugar paper. And you can print photos and you can put them on cakes. Yeah. And you can, you, you can print these photos to put on cakes. But tonight the magenta wasn't printing. So I fucking sorted out, washed it all out, uh, filled all the cartridges up, put it back in, it still wasn't printing on the magenta. So I had to take it out, wash it again, and then I tried to get it in, and for 40 minutes I couldn't get it in, and I'm losing my temper. And in the end I had to go on YouTube to find out how the hell to get it back in, and it went back in as fast as anything, I was so pissed off. Fancy forgetting how to put the bleeding um, head back in. You turn it upside down and push it in and it just slots in. Yeah, to say I was fuming. Yeah. And now I ended up with that. I mean, now I've got a green, red, blue and yellow fingers. And I think a bit of brown as well. I don't know where the brown came from. <clears throat> I know, it's always the same, isn't it? You know, you know. For me, pure alcohol. Um, always better off with vodka, I find. And I find that with most spirits, to be honest. If, if you know. <laughs> um, with most spirits, it's it's all about God. That's made me. That's making me. I feel that now. Bloody hell! Um, with most spirits, it's about uh, putting a mixer with it. Cola, I meant. <laughs> Did I say vodka? Fucking hell! Pissed off. Yeah, better off with, with a cola, cherry cola, even you know something just to take the taste off and take the harshness of the alcohol content away. I mean, for me personally, I prefer a caramel vodka. I absolutely love caramel vodka. Um, I had three bottles recently. Orange juice. Yeah, fair play there. So. <laughs> my. Um, uh, fucking, I forgot what it's called. Simply Mild is brewing. Yeah, that's what the bubbling is. Yeah, yeah. It's not my stomach. That was this morning. Oh, dear. You know when you've been on the beer and every time you let one go and it smells like dog shit and you think, fucking hell, have I trudged in summer or is it me? And uh, that was yesterday or this morning, I think. Can't remember now. Raspberry Pepsi. Yeah, it's all right. I've tried ginger Pepsi as well, to be fair. Not bad. Not bad for what, for what it is. Um, out of five, against other vodkas, um, Smirnoff is probably the biggest selling vodka in the UK at the moment. That and Russian Standard, certainly when I was in Sainsbury's anyway. Um, as far as vodkas go, there are better vodkas out there. There's a lot of small brand vodkas that taste better. Um, it is bubbling away quite a bit. Yeah, with all that sugar in it, will do. Um, out of five, against other vodkas, I don't know, about a 4.1. It's okay, it's nice, but let's be fair, you know, um, it is what it is. It's a standard vodka, but it sells well, so obviously it must be good. Russian standard, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's even made in Russia. It's triple distilled though, but yeah. Right, back in two minutes with another review, another spirit review, and then we're going on the beer, because I need a beer, so, and something different than spirits. And, uh, I've got plenty to choose. Right, back in two minutes, all. Cheers. Although I'm steaming after that, fuck me. Um.